Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Dar Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And today's video is going to be focusing on the Warden's Favor, the floating weather stations. So as you know, I've recently started a brand new account so that I could do these Warden's Favors for you guys and make guides on all of them. So all 15 videos are coming. You guys determine the order, though. Let me know in the comments which one you would like to see released next. I figure the flowers and the trees are a little simpler. There's, it seems like they're everywhere you look, especially if you drive by the road and just pay attention as you're driving. But uh, the harder ones are the non-flower or trees, like the Bigfoot, the dinosaur bones, the weather stations, GPS stations, all that stuff. Uh, so if you would, guys, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell, Tell your friends, Darth's out there fighting the good fight, putting all that work in, making all these guides to make life easier. And let's try to get to 10K subs by the end of the year, guys. Catch us live on YouTube every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time, somewhere in that vicinity. The contest starts at 9 p.m. I'm talking about Tackle Tuesday, and that is Pro XCK, Scarecrow, Bro Broad, Big Rig, Official Doan, Tony from DoorDash, myself, Caitlin, Tipsy, uh, a bunch of us in there and it is a blast uh, I won the first week I won the season last year or the last season I won and this week uh, I started off with the win so we are already doing good pro XCK though I had to hold him off he was three pounds away from beating me there but guys do me a favor ignore the fact that I'm on Norway fishing, I know I'm on Norway and I'm talking about GRR and Warden Favors. Man's got to fish when he can fish, you know what I'm saying? And I'm getting me a little fishing in while I make the intro, but all I'm going to do is drop the footage in from previously filmed eight locations on the floating weather stations, guys. And there are way more than eight. Uh, these are the eight that I clicked on. Just you'll see some as you're out fishing on a boat. A lot of the floating weather stations are hot spots, you know, for lake trout, for musky, uh, for northern pike, for di different fish. There are a lot of those. Even the legendaries are close to some of the weather stations too. So you know where a lot of them are naturally just by fishing in the game. So any eight will do. So once you click on eight, they won't be, you know, popping up report or glowing anymore. So anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to drop the footage in for you and hope this helps you get your eight weather stations. All right, guys, this just started a new mission. Um, the floating weather stations. We are right here in the middle of the map. As we can see, we started off to full stomach. We clicked on a high synth right there, and then I decided I'm just going to go at the middle here all the way to here. Figured I would come across a few more things. So this started a new mission called the Floating Weather Stations. I already clicked on it because, well, I forgot to record before I clicked on it. But as you can see right here, it is the Floating Weather Stations and there are eight of them. All right, guys, as I look over there, I see a Floating Weather Station and that is also a known hotspot for lake trout. So second weather station and right here was our weather station all right guys just to the north of that water hyacinth we now have a floating weather station as you can see we are in between verklempt clump and jagged dewdrop so whichever way you want to go there there's a water hyacinth there. All right, guys, we are here at a floating weather station. That makes four out of eight, and we are right here. Just to the north of Emerald Lake Plateau Outpost. I know there's another one right there, so we're just gonna take this river and we may get some water hyacinths too up through here, who knows. But I know there's another one there. And I need to get here. And I think the quickest way, instead of going up this curvy road, let's just go up the water here and go this way. Floating weather station here. This is the big lake trout hot spot. There we go. 
floating weather station. That gives us five out of eight. We are right here. This is the Big Lake Trout hotspot. All right, guys, we hopped in a boat here because I know there was a weather station out here, but you can do that for a lot of these large bodies of water. If you look in these deepest areas, there's usually a weather station. Uh, we're going to click on this one right now, and I think that's going to put us at six out of eight on the weather station, the floating weather stations, and that is six. All right, guys, we are just past Ruby River Range, and we have found another weather station here. Let's go ahead and get that one. Floating weather station, that is. We are right here on the map, just past Ruby River Range right here. There's Arrowhead Lake. Somewhere up through here, there is a land weather station. We're going to go over there, but first, I'm going to go over here and walk this area. Here we have our final floating weather station, but like I said, there are more than you need on the map. I've not even gone over, for example, I know there's one over here. I've not even gone over to that. There's several that I know about that I've not gone to. So these are just the eight that I have clicked on. Um, let's go ahead and get it. So there's the mission completed. I'm pretty sure most of these Warden's Favors, you get plenty. And it's just the first eight that you click on, you know. Um, I don't know about the dinosaur bones. The dinosaur bones are, may just be eight, and there might be some others the same way, but uh, there are our all eight weather stations, floating weather stations. So, you know, you might be missing one, you might be missing two. So there's where they are. I know there's another one, you know, like I said, right through here somewhere i'm pretty sure just about every deep body of water there's probably one out there um i know there's one right through here the dam too so they're just different places all right guys that is going to do it for the footage for the floating weather stations i hope this has helped you guys and there are eight but there are way more Eight that you have to click on, but there are way more than that. And I think the same is going to be said for all the flowers, all the trees. It's just the first eight that you click on. Some of them, I think there are exactly eight, like maybe the dinosaur bones, Bigfoot's tracks. Some of them, they're exactly eight, but a lot of them, there are way more than eight. So it doesn't matter the order you do them in. Just if you get to one that you've already gotten, just go ahead to the next one. Let me know, guys, in the comments again, which one you would like to see me release next because i have done all the warden stuff i'm, I'm releasing them uh, we'll put them out in whatever order you guys you know i'm taking requests you know and what other videos would you like besides warden's favors you know I'm, i've done a lot of content out there make sure to check out the channel i've probably got a guide for it out there and if not i want to know i want to know uh, what guide or instructional video would you like to see next thank you guys so much we'll catch you in the next video